in this video. Whips, we're gonna whip it, baby, whip it good. Okay, um, before we bring Kerry in, I want to talk about that we're going to start with uh, the fake whip and then go into the long arm whip from there. So we'll do a six count pattern first because I think this is really good to learn to lead it the two different ways, six and eight count, and then long arm whip into the eight count and a couple of variations off that for you. All right, let's get Kerry in here and we'll give a little go. All right, so I'm starting in basic connection open frame. I'm going to do what? Looks like it's going to be a whip. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. I know you talked about in other videos the fact that the, the fellow knows it's going to be a whip if she's redirected by four. Yeah. And because the arm continues to trace, it looks nice, smooth, lyrical, adage, nice and stretchy. We don't get redirected by four, so it's a six count no. pattern. Because I could easily, one, two, three, and four, bring Kerry down the track. But I'm not going to connect. I'm going to actually look like I'm going to connect. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. So Kerry's footwork changes slightly. <laughs> so it goes in between a whip and a side pass, and obviously mine changes a little bit as well. The leader's left and the follower's right really delineates on that one because... If it were to slingshot me back, then I'd be taking the traditional coaster step. But right now it's not. It's simply allowing that trace to happen. And that's the distance I have. So I know right here when I'm not getting the redirect, I'm anchoring yeah. in place. And it's a really good one for the girls not to anticipate. Even if they feel like they went into whip footwork, if the guy doesn't close it off, one, two, three, and four. Oops five and six so there's really no wrong how to do this i think what makes a really good dancer is that they're able to adapt or adjust to whatever my partner does mm -hmm. i may have had an idea or a concept she might have had a variation on that intentionally or not but i'm still going to try and work with it and the key element for me is when i leave these i don't want the girls grabbing i'll do it from this oh. way so um and go, oh, I missed a hand. No. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. And we don't talk about this very much, but the intention down the left side of the leader's body stays in the left side, whereas in the whip, the intention would move from the left side to the right side in order to slingshot me, and it doesn't. So that's another lead technique the leader can use to telegraph, but also that the fellow can use to receive. Yeah. So work on that practice a little bit. Um, and then sometimes leading it, one, two, three, and four, Ooh. and then finish it in close. So he is closing us up, but it's not continuing to whip. not continuing to whip, which means I would do a basic throw out or something similar there. So they're just a couple of concepts that will lead you into these whips. So if I want it to whip and I'm gonna make it a long arm whip, I'm actually not gonna do what I would call traditional footwork. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. So what I did, I went longer on four instead of my one, two, three, and four, and then rotating for five and stepping across the track. I'm one, two, three, and four. And then I adapt this to the girl. Sometimes it just collects as I rotate. Sometimes it'll step out and it'll step across. So I'm adapting and just knowing that I have a specific time when I'm trying to lead the whip on, which for now is eight count. Intention is, re intention is to redirect me on four, so he adjusts his One, forward. two, so three, that. and four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm not in a hurry to get back in the track. And you probably saw by my body or the swing of my shirt that intention that I said gives me the clue that he's moving from the left side of his body to the right side of his body and redirecting me. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. I mean, it really big that so it'd be visual. Yeah, and I like why well, I want to do that for a particular reason. Like, I don't lead with my arms, but I use my arms as a tool. So I connect through. I say I'm going to keep that. So Kerry can feel that running, and I've let it run. So it's almost taking me with her, but I connect again, brings her away. Now I'm connecting more on the right side of the body to get her to rotate. So we'll do that again. 
One, two, three, and four. Connect five, six. And I can even use a little bit of compression or connection to get the Side rotation on the six as well. And then seven. Let's do it vertically. One, two, go along, Four, come around, five, wait for the girl. Seven and eight. And yeah. direction. Go one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yeah. All right. So practice that. Know that there's no right or wrong. Know that your slot is actually going to become probably a little longer and a little wider. So when you're leaving these moves, you've got to be aware of you know, your surroundings. Um, but having that wider slot is going to help. And you, as you get more advanced, you're going to need that in advance anyway. Now, if I wanted to add rotation, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we'll go over Kerry's footwork because mine doesn't change. One, two, three, and four. This is going to feel like hand. an inside roll to me. Five, six, seven, and eight. So as I'm coming off of that whip, I'm going to give a direction. One, two, three, and four here. Rather than just turning to face his buttons, the arm is coming across the body. So I I'm know five. I'm actually doing a full revolution. Six, still following that hand, he releases the arm around our bellies, or my belly, <laughs> and then we slide back down to the other side. So let me show this. And whether I want to come back or to two hands or stay, you know, right to left, that it's all the leader's option. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, and the other direction. Yeah, and remember, I'm making some of these things a little bigger, but. You want to keep it tight and get your body in the right position so you can lead those turns. One, two, two three, I turn four, into the girl. Five, six, seven, and eight. The more compressed, small, and tight we make them, the more accelerated they can be. The more expanded and filling space that we make it, the more adage or legato it can be. So we can yeah. shake through those and um, slow down or accelerate. Yeah, and we could add an outside turn to that as well. Um, it's the same principle as what you would do on a normal whip, except it's a long arm whip. Well, the guy could add a turn in there. We'll do the girls outside and just show it. Five, six, seven, and eight. Now, I was in hammerlock and I just released. We do it this way and I'll come out in hammerlock. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven and eight and then I would have to lead it down the track for some type of movement. And you said you wanted to do jumpers? Yeah, let me think. <laughs> One, two, three and four, five, six. So it goes over nice my one. head. That's a really simple but it makes it look nice. One, two, three and four, five, six, seven and eight. So that's a little bit more tricky. <laughs> One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. That left hand for you wraps it up a little bit more. Try the right one. Mm -hmm. So the long arm, the girl has no idea. Three and four, I turn five, I turn left six, hand. and then I keep going. That time I walked out seven and eight. But if I keep my rotation, I will actually get my doubles, my triples, and my doubles, and my triples in. And what about the right hand? Because didn't you show the right hand first? Oh, yeah, I just walked under. It's just a walk under. Right. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and you eight. You feel less wrapped up and combined. So I yeah. like that one to begin so with. Over the head, rotating to the right, or over and rotating. And I'd like to show that in this direction. Which one? Both. All right, I'll do the symbol. Three and four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I'm going over the right hand and these are really good tools for later on one two three and four round five six seven and eight and what will happen when you get really good one two three and four five six seven and eight one two so the gateway move yeah. we'll address that in higher level video yeah so there's so many things you can do and be more musical by learning to do these just really in the more simple form, adding a little bit of rotation and get used to those different body positions and extend on from there.